In this video, we'll be talking about Angelman syndrome. This is a rare neurogenetic disorder that primarily affects the nervous system and it was described by Dr. Harry Angelman 50 years ago. So it is a neurodevelopmental disorder. So it lead to developmental delays. It can cause intellectual disabilities. And in this syndrome, there are distinctive behavioral characteristics. Like these babies always smile and they have a happy demeanor face. So basically, this particular disease is due to a mutation or disruption of a gene which is present in the chromosome 15. So this gene normally produce UB3A. So UB3A mRNA lead to the production of 6AP, a ubiquitin ligase protein. Generally, this particular protein tags many other protein with polyubiquitin mark. And these polyubiquitin mark represented by these yellow dots are essential markers for degradation. Imagine there is a sniper who wants to kill specific uh, people in a crowd. How does the sniper know whom to kill? There should be some tag. And exactly these tags are really important for protein degradation as well. By the tag, proteasome machinery kind of recognize which protein to degrade. So this is how the 6AP protein is really important for proteostasis. Anyway, in this disease, UB3A mRNA is not produced because there are a problem in the UB3A gene that lead to faulty production or reduced production of the 6AP protein. And that is the key cause of this particular disorder. Now, there are several physical characteristics which are distinct for this disease. One of the key thing that is impaired in Angelman syndrome is a speech or language development. So, mostly these individuals are entirely nonverbal or in some cases they can communicate via nonverbal means, sign language, gestures, etc. Now, one of the big problem that these babies face is the movement and balance related issues. Individual may exhibit jerky movements, wide based gaits, unsteady gaits mostly and difficult in coordination and maintenance of the balance while walking around. Also, there is hyperactivity and happy demeanor, which is very common in these individuals. And they have a frequent episodes of laughter and smiling. So nothing's wrong about it, but it's pretty peculiar for these babies. Also, they have seizure susceptibility. That means they are always uh, prone to develop seizure-like situations in early childhood. Also, they have sleep disturbances. And there are specific developmental milestones that a baby has. And many of these milestones are missed during the Angelman syndrome baby development. So obviously they miss many developmental milestones. Now let's understand the genetic basis of Angelman syndrome in a bit more details. So we all inherit one pair of chromosome from the, so one part of the chromosome from the parent, uh, each parent, like one from the father, one from mother. So one is paternal uh, chromosome, one is maternal chromosome. Now some genes are expressed from only one chromosome. For example, UB3A. Generally, the maternal copy is active and the paternal copy is not active and epigenetically, epigenetically silenced. So in many scenarios, such as a situation where there is a large deletion around this UB3A area, which lead to a truncation of the chromosome. And in this case, the UB3 mRNA is not produced. So that leads to Angelman syndrome. There could be also mutations in the UB3A gene that somehow hamper the production of the mRNA or production of a functional protein. That could also lead to Angelman syndrome. And it's kind of like 13% of all cases has this kind of scenario. But most common is big deletions. Also, there could be imprinting defect. So Basically, what happens is in Angelman syndrome, the UB3A gene of the maternal chromosome should be normally active. But due to imprinting, this gene is also inactive. And by default, paternal copy is inactive. So that is why both the copies are inactive. Nobody is producing any mRNA or protein. That is why it can lead to UB3A deficiency and Angelman syndrome. But this is also a rare situation and there is another rare situation known as uniparental disomy. That means generally one part of the chromosome comes from the father, another comes from the mother. But in this case, somehow the mother's copy did not get segregated and there are two copies of the paternal chromosome. And since normally paternal chromosome derived UB3A is not active, 
that is why there is no functional ub3a production in this scenario so uniparental disomy is another um, cause of angelman syndrome now question is what goes wrong in the brain of angelman syndrome patients let us try to understand that and in order to understand that scientists use laboratory animals where ub3a is not present or present in an haploinsufficient way so in that case scientists have observed in these mouse there is something wrong about the dendrite dendrite and the synapse development generally this is how a segment of the dendrite look like there are several mushroom spines and mushroom spines are actually mature dendritic spines and site for new synapse formation in com in contrast if you look at the angelman syndrome patients uh, neuron they are a little bit weird in terms of the their dendritic branching and also the synapse density there are many synapse or many particular uh, spines which are immature for example in this place you can see there are immature spines so what lead to do what lead to this kind of changes it turns out if we zoom into the dendrite we can see there are specific proteins such as fxin5 arc which are tagged by ub3a for degradation and this tagging and degrading these proteins are really important because each of these proteins are capable of changing the cytoskeletal dynamics in case of ub3a mutant there is no ub3a to degrade these arc or effexin proteins as a result there are changes in the cytoskeleton of the dendrite because these effexin protein activates rho gtpas which is a modulator of the cytoskeleton and that's why there is an aberrant development of these spines often these spines remains in an immature situation and maturation doesn't happen so that is how uh, ub3a is important from a molecular perspective now in general every synapse has some excitatory input and inhibitory input now in this case the red neuron is basically a inhibitory interneuron and it has been seen that this excitation versus inhibition balance which has to be maintained in a circuit is somehow perturbed in the angelman syndrome patient's brain and this is a common recurrent theme in patients with autism and several other neuro developmental disorder like fragile x or red syndrome so there is an overall disbalance in the neuronal activity so there is excitatory overdrive and an inhibitory low drive is low that lead to an overall hyper excitation in the brain that manifests as seizures seizures in these babies now in terms of diagnosis physical features are quite uh, stark in these case of angelman syndrome patients because they have extremely uh, ex extremely distinctive uh, laughing feature they burst into laughter very often and there are many other things that can be a diagnostic differential but anyway the genetic testing is most important sometimes if there is a large deletion karyotyping can pick it up sometimes dna methylation test can also give us an idea about the parental disomy and imprinting kind of problems also sequencing the ub3a gene is really important to understand whether there is any kind of mutation that lead to faulty production of the ub3a uh, mrna so all these things are really important for diagnosing uh, angelman syndrome when it comes to treatment there is no cure but symptoms can be managed for example speech therapy can improvise some level of uh, communication in these babies sometimes they use some vocal trains which might not have a meaning or but still it is used for communication anyway seizure medication can make their uh, or ca can be used to manage their seizures also physical therapy can help their walking and balance kind of scenarios which would make overall lifestyle a little bit better so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in next video